Hello and welcome to Dare and Take a Look at Hack, developed by Super Tri Studios. Came out just a, a few months ago on Steam, and uh, it's a, according to the Steam page, a glitch fantasy roguelike adventure. We'll get to what glitch means in a bit, but yeah, it's a fantasy roguelike, and it has a very, uh, a very interesting style to the game. Let's take a look at the options, and they'll kind of show it off here. We have CRT mode here. We can turn that off. We can go to the normal mode, but CRT mode is where this game's all about. And we can adjust how much filth is on our screen. Uh, you can adjust the, the number of lines, the, how, how the lines and, and the, uh, the text there. Uh, you can adjust the glow of the, uh, of the pixels. You can see that one. Um, you can adjust the umbra as well. But yeah, so you can, oh, it's, it's got this, and th this is sort of how the whole game plays. Like you can see this sort of effect throughout the whole game. And, um, Let's just get in here and, and see what it's all about. There's a lot of uh, a lot of randomness to the game. That's kind of the uh, the name of the store name of the game here. We have uh, randomized characters every time you play the game. We've got three to choose from initially, and every time you play, you're gonna get three different ones to play from. Uh, I played a couple. I played as a um, I had a, a werewolf, and I also had a uh, a Digini sorcerer, some sort of race. Each of these. The characters, these races and classes all have different abilities. You have a, you have a specific ability for being your race. You have an ability for being a uh, your your class, werewolf or sorcerer or whatever. And then you have a couple others based on the weapons that you have in your uh, in uh, on your person. You can see we have the sorcerer here has boulder toss is your ability because you are a Jotun, a giant. Uh, shield up is your um, shield up and footwork are your item abilities, and then reanimate is the ability the sorcerers have. We have sneaking for the burglars, we have uh, wolf form for the werewolf. You can see even the gear that they all have. Uh, for instance, the, the the sorcerer has a burlap pointy hat, uh, iron cage helm for a uh, buyer boot hole is the guy's name, uh, and fig whisper over here has a tricorn hat. Hmm. And then we have the gear that you guys are carrying as well, and the stats of the different characters. Man, I don't know who to pick. Do we pick the the, the giant sorcerer or the human werewolf? Which one do I pick? What do you have? What kind of animal? It's a tortoise? Oh, man. So, yeah, so you get you get your character, and you get a pet with it. And Achilles. Achilles, the tortoise. We have Buddha and Brian, the, tor the turtle. Mm. And then Bayer Bootle and Cuddles, the dog. Oh, man. He turns into a werewolf. This guy can raise the dead. I played a sorcerer before, and I, I rarely found corpses. Um, okay, we're gonna go with, we're gonna go with old boot hole over here. Eat it and weep. Pepper. Doggy treats. I get doggy treats. I get jerky and I get health. Okay, yeah, we gotta go with, with old, uh, old boot hole over here. Greetings, Traveler. We sure are going through Travelers at an alarming rate around here. This is my third, uh, character, by the way. <laughs> gonna help out with that. Okay, so here is the game. You got, um... I'm the pink guy in the middle. You got my dog right here. Uh, Cuddles is right up this way. Um, I have four abilities. I have Quick Step, I have Horn Blast, I have Dash Cut, and I have Wolf Form. We can see what they do. While in Wolf Form, base damage, attack speed, and move speed all goes up, drains my mana while I'm in it. We have Dash Cut. I can basically jump and attack. I have Horn Blast. Causes chaos. Mm, okay. And I have Quick Step. Move to an adjacent square without ending your turn. Um, health Potions. I got Jerky in my pocket. I got a Doggy Treat, and I have a Pepper. I don't know what that does. Uh, I guess it gives me mana, looks like. Inventory is over here on the side. We can see my hat. I got my, my cage helm, burlap pants, gauntlets. I got a burlap sock, broadsword, and a battle horn. This battle horn is giving me that horn blast ability. And then the sword is giving me the dash cut ability. Those, those will change depending on what weapons I have. Um, my, my, um, my dog even has a health bar over here, so we're going to try to keep the dog alive is, is ideally what we want to do. We can move, use the mouse to move ourselves around, but we can also use the arrow keys. We can also use a controller. But we're going to see things popping up over here. We have a mouse. It's a mouse. Literally just an actual mouse. Um, so I suppose we could run over there and kill it. And let's... Well, you want me to do that? You want me to horn blast? Good. Sure. What did that just do? What was the point of that? <laughs> I don't know, but we have killed a mouse. What would you drop? The mouse dropped something? The mouse dropped uh, a mouse corpse. A reminder. Oh, yeah, okay. Doesn't smell great. So if you if I was a sorcerer, I guess I could raise the dead. I could have risen that mouse. A pumpkin. Some kind of gourd with an attitude. Alright. Um so this gives me a free step. Dash cut. Let's let's come here. And then one more. Oh, maybe not. And then we're just gonna bash the guy. No fancy abilities just yet. 
All right, so we have a bandit, we have a bandit, and we have the pumpkin. The dash cut, I believe, only goes two squares, so we don't want that one just yet. Horn blast, um, yeah, do it again. I don't quite know what that does. I don't quite know what that does. Uh, now we could quick step, step up here, and then get a free swing. There we go. I'm gonna go in the werewolf form. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Yeah, take that. And that. And that. And more of that. There we go. Okay, man is running low though, so we'd be, probably be turning back into human form. There we are, back in human form. And uh, let's explore the rest of this. It's, it's quite pretty here, isn't it? Look at the trees, aren't they nice? Wouldn't it be funny if I had completely forgotten to tell you a crucial detail about how to play? I mean, fight monsters? I didn't actually forget anything. I just thought it might be a laugh. Although now you'll never know. Whoops. So this guy's sort of, uh, he's our narrator. He's just sort of in the background, in our head, I guess. There is a Morning Star. I did read in some um, Fruit of Wisdom. That's some mana regen stuff. I did read in some of the comments that I guess the story is actually pretty good. Um, once you get into the game, it's it's pretty involved. Uh, I don't know about involved, but good anyways. Uh, main hand weapon. God, I hate that guy. This equipment is imbued with an icy chill. Ripping strike. Now, this will give me, you can see it's going to give me more, uh, down here you can see my changes here, more damage, uh, more accuracy, and less attack speed. I'm fine with that. Morningstar is cool. So the levels are pretty quick. There's, a, there's the end of the level right there. So let's go ahead and jump through. Level 2. Every time we change levels, we get, again, randomness. We're going to get random abilities going to pop up here. We have quick change. Move, uh, move speed up slightly. Equipping headgear, armor, footwear, less time. Buff step. Attack speed up after quick step. Or helmets provide bonus defense. Sure, I'll take that one. Okay, next level. Again, every time I, uh, we progress levels, the, the graphics change just a little bit. You can see the, the, the look of the maps change a bit on the light walk there. There's a rat. Kill the rat. We just slaughtered that rat. Now we're going to do the whole... Um, I can't do the jump attack thing now, but I can do... What's that do? Deal physical damage to an enemy because it causes them to bleed. Let's quick step up to here and smack them. And then get them. And we'll get to the reason why this game's called Glitch in a minute here, I'm sure. There we go. Or what, what the whole thing about the glitch is. I probably should heal up. I'm going to go ahead and eat some jerky. Get my health taken care of. And we're going to quick step to right here. Smack that guy. There we go. Take that bat. What is it on the ground? I don't know. Uh, is that more jerky? Yeah, I'll take more jerky. What are you? An ogre, eh? Monsters with impressive toughness and nightmarish appetites. Uh, we're just going to run. Take a step. No arrows. We're going to quick step up to him. And then we're going to ripping strike. I can just hit E and do this. That guy. Oh, man. Take that, buddy. You can see the turn order right here. He hurts a bit, though. Um, yeah. What does it do? Who knows? It does something, though. There we go. We got him. We got the ogre. Take out the bat. Okay. My dog's health is still fine. Oh, nice, nicely done, dog. What was that? What is that? Jelly donut. I've never seen a jelly donut that looks like this. Maybe it's just for kids. <laughs> uh, There's a nice level already. Hmm. Um, did I go everywhere? I didn't go this. I did go everywhere. Okay. Yeah, next level. And let's level up. There's quick change against elemental strike. Critical hit. Uh, critical hit deals bonus damage equal to your highest affinity or chutzpah. Evasion up slightly. Shopkeepers are more inclined to deal with you. <laughs> okay, I want to do elemental strike this time. Okay, now we are in a little more foresty land here. What are you? You are a fish person. Mean, toothy bipeds who eat fish and people despite being both. Um, come here. I wish I could go diagonally, but I can't. We just smack you and and cause. What did we do to the water? We did something to the water. What is that? A fly trap. Carnivorous plants that got bored of waiting around for food. Wow, that guy hurts. 
What was that? Dog. Don't die, dog. I have dog treat. Um, I'm going to give you one. There you go. What's that say? Oh, I missed, missed the reading of it. I'm going to go with a... Who is that? An imp. Adorable messengers from the netherworld. Let's go up here. We're going to smack this guy. There we go. Okay. What are you doing? Calm down, dog. Another imp up there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the jerky. I believe my health potion refills after every level. Maybe I should, maybe I should hit that. Uh, what is that? Is that a... Um, that's an imp corpse. What am I supposed to do with these corpses? If I had the ability to, to raise a dead, then I would certainly have a use for it, but I don't have that ability. What is this? This is a skelly. Skellies are hardworking undead custodians of the dungeon. Quick step, and then let's go with the ripping strike. Oh, you dodged my strike? Not okay. There we go. 29 damage. What is that? That is a skelly again. There we go. There's some damage. And what do we have here? We have a hopping vampire. Gymnastic corpses who suck energy from their victims. Oh, he's doing the same thing to me that I'm doing to him. Let's see what it does. It's a satyr. Nimble beings who pester adventures with arrows and embolden monsters with music. Smack this guy and we'll go save our dog here. If I can actually hit him, guy. Cuddles, house for buyer. I'm coming, Cuddles. Hang on, buddy. What is that? That is a mosquito. Giant mosquitoes. Dumb, a huge enough to drink dumb adventure, like tasty milkshake. Uh, we're going into wolf form. Well done, Cuddles. Well done. Come here. Ow. Okay, there we go. So we're taking a lot of damage, and we're getting so damaged, the game is starting to sort of glitch on us. Oh, you're still here? I bet you've been missing my helpful hints. You'd probably be lost without me. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. Now we can get this back, of course, we can just take a potion. So fix the, uh, the screen funk. Got a mosquito there. Is there something in the water there? There is. Oh, that's a mosquito corpse. I don't want that. Uh, what is that thing? That is a lion trap. Cuddles, don't die on me. I'm going to try to move up and see if I can get a little a little quicker. Because Cuddles is charging in there. There's the end of the level. Oh, good job, Cuddles. Uh, let me go through this door first. Okay, so crafting. So I've only got the crafting once. And I quite didn't quite figure out what's going on. But you can take a form, like my broadsword. And I can mix it with a material. Like a imp corpse? And I make an imp broadsword. Go to weapon for striking down the fellow man. It gives me dash cut still. It gives me infernal damage. Is that what that's trying to say? So if I put in the this thing, it'd give me an imp. Morning star. Do I have anything better than than How about a mosquito? Leech. Hmm. That seems like a good idea. Let's do it. Okay, we have a, a Mosquito Morningstar now. Okay, I like the sound of that. I guess we could put in, like, our helmet. Or our pants. How about our our, 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 our greaves? And then our um, imp corpse gives us... Does it do anything for us? Takes 25. Oh, yeah, it gives us a little bit of evasion. Sure, I'll take it. And then we have some uh, burlap pants along with a mouse corpse. What's that going to give us? Um, that gives us half the evasion. That actually hurts. That actually hurts us. So no, don't do that. Okay. Oops. Break some crates. We'll get some in this chest here. And we'll pick up iron goggles. And an iron bracer. Okay. Um, the goggles... Let me go on my hand. They look cool, but as far as armor goes, they do nothing. Mm, okay, I don't want those. The bracer, however, does give me a little bit of evasion. 
There we go. Okay. Um, sounds good. Let's get out of here. Next level. Now what do we have? Frightful Horn. Sound Blast inflicts Shaken on enemies. Tussle Wolf. Defense up while in wolf form. Or pivot. Move around target when using can opener. Gripping Strike or Pummel. I want the uh, the defense up while in wolf form. I'll be using that more, on, more often. Looks like we're in a building now. Oh, who is here? I will crush you. You are so small. Little squishy. The Skeletitan. So this is the big boss. Our first big boss we've come across. Um, wolf form, please. My friends will grind you into a paste. Squishy paste. So we have a, uh, a little skelly here next to us. We're going to go ahead and just beat that guy down real quick. Maybe. There we go. We do more damage whenever we don't do the ripping strike. He's at time. Whoa, 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 whoa. None of that. You're going to hurt my dog. I'm going to have a skelly here. Let's deal with the skelly. Uh, you know what? Let's do the um, the horn blast. I don't know what it does still, but it sounds exciting. Uh, we're going to go into... I'm, I'm back out of wolf form. I need more mana. I missed. Stop missing. Stop spawning things. Um, if I quick step... Mm, what happened? Squish. Yes, yes. I wonder if I should be working on him and not the little guys. Stop that. I'm going to go here and we're going to... How much the mana does this take to do? It takes two mana. I'm going to hold off and we'll see if we, we can... I'm, ha I'm hamstrung right now. See if we can wait until this goes a little higher and then... Oh, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? Eat a pepper. There's some mana. Eat something. Drink something. Uh, okay. 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 So I'm going to hit the potion. Full health. We're going to switch it to wolf form. And then we're going to chew. We're going to go with the, uh, the E attack. There we go. Nine damage. Ten damage without it. I'm going to spawn in some more people. We're going to horn blast again. And let's quick step over here. Um, there. And then... Ooh, 18 damage. Nice. I'm out of mana now, so I'm back into human form. Uh, did you kill my... You killed my dog. My dog is a ghost. Cuddles is slain. No, 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 no. Don't do that. I'm going to quick step back. And then we're going to hit some jerky. Okay, we're doing better now. Um, a little better. I'm pretty sure you should stop spawning people in. What's that? How much damage does that do? Just one? Okay. Now that my, my dog is dead, I'm a little sad. Okay, he's taken care of. We're going to need more health. I think I'm out of, uh, I'm out of health potions. And we have we have Fruit of Wisdom, which gives us mana. Oh, here we go. Crystal Residue. We have one of those, which will give us from regen. Jelly Donut. I do have that as well. Okay, so let's... Um, how much did that give me? 16 to 21, so I need that right now. Okay, now. Werewolf form. And let's get him. This. Ripping strike. Deal physical damage to the enemy and cause him to bleed. Yes. We missed. We missed. Missed again. 21. That was a nice crit. I'm going to go for him. I'm going to forget the other skellies. I'm just going to go for him. We're going to try to bounce around to avoid the other skellies. Um... Keep missing on my big attack. Here we go. We're gonna hit the regen. I don't know that that I'm gonna be able to do this with by avoiding these guys. 
Um, do the horn again. Okay, little guy's gone. Uh, we can hit regen again. Stop spawning people in. We're getting a little glitchy. Hey. Yeah? Um, I can't do that, but I can go bounce over here. And then smack him again. There we go. We finally got a hit on him. Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> Bayer did their best. Well, he sort of did his best. I mean, he did something. Okay, and then back to, um, I guess back to the uh, the main menu. There's our There's the guy that killed us. Well, there you go. There's Hack. It's available on Steam now. I'll put a link down below and you can check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.